would you like to know how this delicious looking meal was prepared would you like to have a taste of this bowl of deliciousness hi guys welcome back to my page welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be walking walking you through the steps on how i prepared this delicious looking yamarita So for this recipe, you're going to need yam. Yamarita is made up of 90%, 80% yam soaked in um, eggs and flour and then fried until it's crisply brown, okay? So when you get your yam, wash it thoroughly and then cut it into the shape you're seeing here in this video. Try as much as you can not to make your yam too big and also do not make it too small. So after washing and um, cutting your yam, get a pot, put your yam in the pot, add a little salt and then steam it for a few minutes. Okay, we are going to cook this yam until it is 80% done. Do not allow the yam to be too soft. If not, you won't enjoy your yamarita at all okay so watch the yam carefully while it's in the fire as soon as you sense that it's almost cooked get it out of the fire filter it and allow it to cool down a bit okay now yamarita can be eaten plainly like that okay but you can also have it with pepper sauce and um, you can have it with tomato ketchup okay it just depends on your preference so while the yam is in the fire getting ready um i'm going to start preparing my vegetables okay this tomato and um, shombo onions and the rest i will use to make the pepper sauce which will be eaten this yamarita wheat okay and then i will also be preparing the green vegetables and spring onions that i will use for this yamarita recipe if you're new to my channel and you're or you're new to my facebook page my name is betty imba um welcome to my channel okay please click on the subscribe button to join the family click on the notification icon as well so that whenever we post a new video you'll be notified now i'm trying to make the pepper sauce i'm sorry i lost a lot of the clips of me making this pepper sauce but the process is not really difficult at all and then after placing my pepper sauce in the fire for it to boil down some of the liquid i'm going to start seasoning my eggs and for this i would need seasoning cubes I would also need um, red chili pepper, I would need a pinch of salt, I would need um, green pepper, spring onions, and they, basically there are no like specific rule on how to season your eggs here, okay? You just add or subtract whatever um, spices or seasonings you have. It just depends on, depends on your taste and preference, really. Okay, so adding or remove um, um, whichever seasoning you want to add or remove will just have your eggs well seasoned okay so after adding in all of the seasoning and the vegetables i'm going to give this a good stir and set it aside now for my flour or the dry ingredients in another bowl i'll have a flour inside the plate and then i'll season this flour very well okay i'm adding my um seasoning cubes <laughs> I'm adding seasoning cubes to the floor. I'll add a pinch of salt to the floor. And then I'll add black pepper. I'll add, I added a little bit of garlic and ginger into this floor. Again, just like in the egg um, mixture, you add in as much or as little um, seasoning into this particular powder, okay, into the floor. And then stir it very, very well. After that, you begin to coat your yam in the mixture, okay? You get your yam, place it into the egg mixture, then put it back into the flour mixture. After stirring it for, um, putting it in the flour mixture, you have to take it back into the egg mixture. Then after that, you can just begin to fry your yamarita immediately. Or you can go over the coating twice or thrice just to thicken um, your yamarita. It just depends on your taste. And your preference too. So, in a hot bowl of um, vegetable oil, you need to fry this yamarita in medium or low heat so that it cooks all the way through. 
right so that's it for this yamarita recipe it's really really simple and i hope you guys can recreate it just like i did okay and i hope you enjoy eating it as much as i enjoyed filming and eating my yamarita you can have your yamarita with um pepper sauce okay i'm so sorry guys i couldn't film the pepper process i did film it actually but i lost the footage okay so it's the pepper sauce process is really not difficult at all because the main star of the occasion is the yamarita itself so you can just prepare your pepper sauce however, however you feel like and then eat it with your yamarita okay or you can have this yamarita also with tomato ketchup okay you can also chew your yamarita like that it just depends on what you like guys so i'd really like you guys to recreate this please click on the subscribe button to join the family if you've not done so already for more amazing youtube um for more amazing recipe content okay and then turn on post notification that's if you're on youtube um so that whenever we post a new video you'll be notified if you are a facebook friend as well please follow our facebook page okay like our facebook page it really goes a long way to help okay enjoy this particular recipe until i come your way again next time right see you guys bye